Hi and welcome to Little Bits Honey Bees YouTube channel. I'm a skinny bee man. <clears throat> Today we're going to talk about how to get get ants out of your hive. Uh, a lot of people say that cinnamon works and have good luck with it. I've tried it several times. They just take the if they got a feeder, like I've got a feeder here, and bring my hive to them. feeder and they just sprinkle it around in the box in, inside the feeder or on top of the inner cover and says it takes care of ants. I've had no luck with it. But I had a, I got a couple things and then the one I at the end here is the one that I would suggest it'll, it'll really take care of the ants. Let me see here if you can get a good close-up of this. These are just sticky mouse traps. They call it, they're two to a sheet, 49 cents. And you can just take, peel the sticky off, stick it in your feeder. The ants will get on it, they get stuck, and they're done. If you, got it on, if you don't run feeders and you run inner covers, which I don't run, I don't even have one to demonstrate it, but if, it, if you had your inner cover like this and the hole in the center, you'll have to put uh, some kind of screen wire over that to keep your bees from coming up to get on it and just lay this on top of the inner cover will take care of the ants you can buy different kinds of ant bait they work real good if you got a feeder you can just throw them in there they work decent if you got an inner cover you will probably have to put your inner cover on and then a two inch shim with your screen wire over it so the bees can't get to it and then set this on top of that. That's a, that's a couple ways. I mean, they go to extremes like on high stands, they put plastic cups around them and, and silicone them up and fill them with oil and then every time it rains, you got to deal with it and it's a mess. The preferred way, and I, I don't know anything about uh, fire ants. I don't have them here, so that might be talking a different story. But just get you some kind of plastic container. This is just a, I don't know, half pint. That drew you some holes in it small enough that the bees can't get through it. Or here, I've took a I've took a leather punch and just punched them out like that. No big deal. Put you some holes all the way around it. Make as many as you want. Then you take just some cotton balls. This I really need two more in there. You need about need it to be covered on the bottom. When you get that. And then you mix a solution up. <clears throat> the solution is, I don't even know if we can read it here or not, probably. Two teaspoons of boric acid, six tablespoons of sugar, and two cups of water. You get that mixed up. The boric acid, you can buy that usually at the drugstore. Uh, they use it a lot for a non-invasive chemical for roaches and stuff. But you mix that up and then just put some in there. Don't uh, and the, the cotton balls will soak it up, but don't fill it above your cotton balls. And make you make a container for each one of your high stands. And then put a lid on it. You need a lid. And this will this will work in your house too. You got them little what I call sugar ants in the house. You can do one of these right here with it and put it where they're traveling. They'll come in there and they carry this boric acid back to the nest. And it'll kill the whole nest. In two days, it, it, it'll alleviate your problem. But you just set that under your hive and they'll 
ants will get in there and get it and they'll carry it to the nest and kill it. <clears throat> of course, I know you can, you can re replay this video and get it again, but the, the recipe is two teaspoons of boric acid, six tablespoons of sugar, and two cups of water. It, it, the boric acid pretty, is pretty safe for kids and everything. Uh, not, not, not too dangerous like some acids. It's pretty mild. But it will take care of the ants. It will absolutely work, except for fire ants. I don't know if fire ants, they're kind of a meat eater. I don't know if they will get in the sugar or not, the sweet stuff. If they do, it'll kill them. But I don't know if they do or not. It's just a short tip. Uh, kind of telling you how I do it. And really, ants don't most of the time po poise a problem to the hives. If it's a good healthy hive, the ants will be in the feeders and above the uh, inner cover, but they won't get down the hive. They, they just Usually if an ant takes over a hive, the hive is sick or weak, something's wrong with it. They, they just, it's usually more of a nuisance to the beekeeper. Them little sugar ants, you get on there and you brush them off and they get on you and then they go biting you and kind of a pain in the butt, but other than that, if you like the videos, hit the subscribe button, the bell next to it, and you get notified when we put new videos out. You guys have a great day.